Montauk Monster, discovered in July 2008. Perhaps the most bizarre feature of this list in terms of appearance, the Montauk Monster washed up on a beach in the state of New York as recently as 2008. Creature appeared to have the head of a bird, despite having teeth visible on the lower jaw, with the torso of a canine, despite being completely hairless. Fast forward to the present day and biologists are still speculating as to the origin of the Montauk Monster. A popular theory is that the creature is a diseased raccoon which lost its hair, before having the entire upper jaw decompose in the sea, giving the appearance of a beak. However, this theory has been largely discounted as a raccoon's legs are significantly shorter than those shown in the picture. Tasmanian Sea Monster, discovered in August 1960. The Tasmanian Sea Monster, otherwise known as the Tasmanian Blob, was washed ashore on a beach in Tasmania. The mysterious dead organism, despite having no identifiable bone structure, was originally believed to be a new species of mammal. Attempts to scientifically explain away such claims were initially unsuccessful. The creature lacked eyes, a visible mouth, and was covered in stiff white hairs, though given the colossal size, over 20 feet in length, it was hypothesized that the creature was a badly decomposed whale. Media outlets quickly latched onto the mystery of the case, given the initially reasonable claim that the Tasmanian blob was a cryptic. The true identity of the globster remained a mystery until 1981, when scientific analysis of collagen fibers confirmed the creature to be a whale. Bermuda blob, discovered in May 1988. In early 1988, a fisherman named Ted Tucker came across a fibrous blob on the shores of Bermuda. The creature was initially believed to be a cryptic, but subsequent analysis has disproved this theory. The organism was described as being extremely stark white in color, with five distinguished limbs. The Bermuda blob shared the consistency with other famous globsters of having no eyes, mouth, or any other features sufficient to definitively classify it. Seven years after the initial discovery, with the help of scientific techniques not previously available, it was proven to be the remains of a diseased whale. This came as a shock to many researchers, as the earliest tests strongly suggested the creature was related to an elasmo branch, shark, or ray. Gambo discovered in June 1983. When 15-year-old Owen Burnham explored Bungalow Beach in Gambia, he did not expect to discover a bizarre sea carcass which would remain shrouded in mystery for years to come. Being a wildlife enthusiast, Owen decided to make sketches of the creature, shown above, which are the only surviving likenesses, as the carcass was never photographed. The beast, named Gambo after the geographical location of its discovery, was transported to a nearby village where Owen lived and was decapitated by villagers, who proceeded to sell the head to an unidentified tourist. In terms of appearance, the creature was described as being 15 feet in length, with a light brown coloration and oily skin. The head bore similarities to that of a dolphin, though the midsection was significantly wider than such an animal. Gambo appeared to have been wounded before death, as the rear flipper was almost severed and internal organs were openly exposed. The current location of the creature is unknown, and scientists can only speculate as to what species Gambo truly belongs to. St. Augustine Monster, discovered in November 1896. Being one of the earliest and perhaps the most famous of globster cases, the St. Augustine Monster caused a massive media frenzy upon its discovery by a group of children. The creature was initially believed to be evidence of a new species of giant squid, given the dull pink skin which is characteristic of such animals. Although this theory was later disproved, it is perhaps worth noting that in 1925, the colossal squid was discovered and acknowledged as a new species. In terms of appearance, the globster was described as having seven tentacles, all of which were very long in proportion to the body, and many of which had been severed and scattered among the beach. Unlike many other globster cases, a head was clearly identifiable and was shaped like a sea lion. Using modern science, the alleged cryptic was revealed to be nothing more than the remains of a whale. Newfoundland Blob discovered in August 2001. The story of the Newfoundland Blob is not mysterious, just disgusting enough to the make the average person violently ill. The globster was proven to be the remains of a sperm whale almost immediately upon discovery, given the scientific identification techniques which were not previously available for use with other globster cases. Scientists have also determined how the slimy hulk of fat and skin came to end up on shore. After the whale died, years of decay led the hard bones to seep out of the carcass to the bottom of the sea, leaving an empty shell of blubber. The internal organs also totally decomposed. All the identifiable features of the whale, face, fins, etc., melded into one giant faceless mass. 
This led the slimy remains to float on the surface of the water before washing up on a beach in Newfoundland. Chilean blob discovered in July 2003. The Chilean blob is notable for a number of significant differences from other globster cases. Perhaps the most obvious is its sheer size. The creature measured 12 meters across and weighed over 13 tons. The texture of the carcass was partially translucent, leading many biologists to wrongly identify the creature as an unknown species of giant octopus. For this reason, the carcass made worldwide headlines upon its initial discovery. Some more enthusiastic believers put forward claims that the globster was the partial remains of a leviathan. The blob has since been identified as a whale carcass, though many biologists contest this view because the creature had quickly been established as an invertebrate. Zuyo Maru carcass, discovered in April 1977. The Zuyo Maru carcass was discovered by Japanese fishing crew aboard a trawler named the Zuyo Maru, hence the name. The decomposing corpse was hauled out of the ocean after being caught in the trawl, to the astonishment of the crew, who were convinced they had discovered a prehistoric plesiosaur. They nicknamed the creature Nessie. Despite the initial excitement, the crew resolved to dump the carcass back into the ocean, as the rotting flesh posed a high risk of spoiling the already caught fish. They took photographs and collected samples of the creature including bone, skin, and fat. Today the Zuyo Maru carcass remains unclassified, though evidence strongly suggests that the creature was a badly decomposed basking shark. Although the creature appears to have a plesiosaur-like head, this appendage would be expected from a decomposing basking shark. The jaw and lower head typically decays first. Despite this, some Japanese scientists remain convinced the Zoyo Maru carcass is the remains of a cryptid. Trunko discovered in October 1924. Amazingly, Trunko is the only globster to have been sighted while still alive, thus discrediting claims the corpse was a massive whale blubber, a common globster explanation. According to witnesses, Trunko struggled to escape from two killer whales off the coast, using its tail to fend them off for more than three hours. Trunko washed up on a South African beach days later and was so named because of the characteristic elephantine trunk, which was not initially visible from the coast. The purported appearance of Trunko is bizarre even by globster standards. The trunk protruded oddly from no particular part of the torso, and the torso itself was covered in snowy white fur, to the extent that, upon discovery, it was believed to be a polar bear. Besides this, Trunko had a crustacean-like tail, no visible face or bone structure, and was totally devoid of blood. Only four photos were ever taken of Trunko, though. Incredibly, they were completely overlooked by Globster researchers until 2010. The first photo discovered shows a man prodding the renowned elephantine trunk with a stick. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.